Testing, one, two. Welcome to St. Andrews College. Welcome to St. Andrews College, Black Rock in County Dublin for the Kate Hockey, the Kate Russell. Oh, oh, oh. I'll tell him to go. St. Andrews College, Black Rock County Dublin for the first game, the Kate Hockey, Kate Russell Hockey Tournament 2019 between Ho St. Andrews College and Leinster Champions against Munster Champions Crescent College Comprehensive of Limerick. I'm joined in the commentary box by St Andrews Senior Boys Head Coach Ivan. <laughs> Ivan, first off, a beautiful day here in St Andrews. What are you expecting from the first of five games today? Um, I think uh, I think both sides uh, will go into this hopeful of uh, coming through at the end of it. Um, I think we, we've seen with the provincial finals uh, a lot of shootouts deciding, so I'm expecting a very tight game. Uh, probably it, it could be quite cagey between the two 25s, both sides looking to get something on the board in the first game, uh, at, at least a point. So I think we might get a cagey enough game, few chances um, and possibly a draw, but it, if there's a winner, I think it'll be by one goal. Quick rundown on the team, starting with Crescent first, Amy Hearn, Sarah Barry, Georgia Keane, Emer Lane, Claudia Griffin, Robin Leahy, Aoife Hickey, Anna Horn, Sophie Klein, Maeve McNamara, Leah Cleary, Claire O'Mara, Amy O'Byrne, Serena McDermott, Nicole Griffin, Elle Sorensen, Jilly Edwards and Sarah Fitzgerald. Ivan will give us a rundown of the St Andrews side. St. Andrew's side will have uh, Isa Cambe starting in goal. Uh, Centre-backs then uh, Katie Jane Marshall um, along with uh, oh, who's the centre-back there? It's uh, got a blank there. Centre-back. We'll get the rest of that St. Andrew's team in a couple of moments as Crescent get, are about to get us on their way here in St. Andrew's College. Present playing right to left as you see it here, wearing navy against the orange and black at St Andrews. We're underway here, and it's Emer Lane straight away with a poor pass for Present. St Andrews on the attack, but good defence on that occasion from Claudia Keane, Georgia Keane I should say, and it's off to Eva Hickey. Hickey tries to play it downfield, but it's intercepted by St Andrews. It's going to be free to St Andrews. It's taken by Rachel Diggin. Diggin plays it back inside. You'd imagine Ivan nerves very early on for both teams here. Yeah, I think so. I think at this early stage, I think most players just want to get a touch on the ball and, and find a pass, um, do something simple, um, like another two, two or three turnovers already. So I think players just looking to get a touch um, and, uh, you know, just play their way into the game. And St. Andrews now a possession inside their own half, looking to bring play forwards all the way over to the right here to Nicole O'Connell. O'Connell tries to play it up the right hand side, intercepted well by El Sorensen from Crescent. But it's St. Andrews back in possession. It's going to be a crescent free that Sorensen will take. And away she goes the ball. Dribbles out of trouble and into Emer Lane. Lane now is Aoife Hickey on the right-hand side. It's crescent look to create. Leah Cleary straight through the middle if Aoife Hickey wants to find her. Tries to find Cleary. Port enough touch. Cleary with a chance. Well defended by Isild Cambe in the St. Andrews goal. And very early chance nearly there for Crescent. Yeah, I think that's one of the one of the key things to look out for today is whether these teams can get the ball from the ball side onto the opposite side. That chance there was where the ball started on the left hand side, and as soon as you get the ball onto the right hand side, all that space opened up. So I think 
if they can transfer the ball right to left, left to right, and sometimes do that two or three times to open up the opposite side of the pitch, I think that's where some of the opportunities are going to come from. It's Crescent with a bit of early possession here as they work the ball, to look to work the ball into danger area of St Andrews, but it's intercepted. Now St Andrews with a chance to counter over on that left hand side, play it up field, looking for Rachel digging, digging now. Does she have enough pace to get there? Just runs out of space. And it's going to be Crescent to restart and to do so quickly. Sarah Barry over on that far side for Crescent. She looked to give the ball backwards. So instead, in fact, she gives it to Robin Leahy. And Leahy with a good run forward to Leah Cleary, who was the hero for Crescent in the Munster Girls Senior Final win over Mercy College. Played now out to this left-hand side. And it's El Sorensen in space for Crescent. Sorensen now bringing it into St. Andrew's Danger. It finds a pass to Anna Horn. Horn's control lets her down, but very early on here, Ivan, Crescent looked to have settled. Yeah, they have, but it's been two balls have kind of opened up two very good opportunities, and both times where they've managed to transfer the ball from the ball side onto the opposite, which again has allowed a player to carry the ball 30, 40 yards and then pick a pass. So I think a couple of really good opportunities for Crescent there, um, which you know they could, they could rue later on in the game that they haven't made more of them. And a break away from St Andrews on that occasion. Good run from Gabby Lewis. The St Andrews captain tried to play the ball inside to Joey Lord, but a diving effort from Lord was unable to keep the possession and play. That bit of play very well appreciated by the St Andrews home crowd here. As Crescent looked to move away again, El Sorensen with a loose pass. It's intercepted. Emer Lane tries to win it back for Crescent, but it's Lewis again. Good block on that occasion for Crescent by Georgia. Clean. It's El Sorensen has been tripped. And it's Crescent going to restart the game here. As Claudia Griffin, the Crescent vice captain, plays it back inside to Georgia Keane. And Crescent noted for the slow build up out of their back line. It's served them well in their win in Munster this season. See for Hickey, a good bit of dribbling from Hickey on this occasion. She's well tackled in the end, though. But Emer Lane wins possession back for Crescent. But again, Hickey loses out. Free is decided. You look at the St Andrews team, I've knew, you obviously know a fair amount about him. Gabby Lewis is a player that catches the aid every time you see her play. Yeah, th there's a number of players there um, with uh, IHL experience. Gabby's played a little bit with Pembroke this year. Um, we have uh, Amy Elliott in centre midfield who uh, got capped uh, Irish ladies uh, earlier in the year against Chile uh, when they went to Spain for a series. Um, you have uh, Katie J. Marshall at Sweeper who uh, starts week in, week out for Pembroke as well in the IHL and Izo Cambay, the goalkeeper, uh, again Pembroke and, and playing IHL. So probably those four players down the spine of the Andrews team, they, they, they need to perform here to, uh, to give Andrews a chance of, of winning this tournament. Um, and I think that's where you know, a lot will be expected. And it's Crescent looking to start an attack again with Anna Horn, who's playing more advanced, but looks at these early stages here than her usual midfield role. And St Andrews win a free. Of course, the St Andrews team, coached by Irish International World Cup hero Gillian Pender. Pinder. Um, of course, Roisin Upton involved with the Crescent team, another Irish International involved with this Crescent team that's head coached by Cahill Duggan. As Rachel Diggin moves down the left-hand side for St. Andrews, plays it back inside, looking for Gabby Lewis. She's well marshaled on that occasion. But it's St. Andrews with a free, and it's Lewis on the charge. Lewis tries to play through, hits off Emer Lane's foot. That's going to be another free for St. Andrews. It's taken quickly, played out to this right-hand side. Attempting to find Devin Aikens, but just too much strength on that pass, and Crescent come away again. It's a poor clearance, though from Georgia Claudia Griffin on that occasion but Crescent brilliantly defended by Georgia Keane and she wins another free for Crescent fairly tentative start to the game Ivan neither side really getting outside of them early couple of half chances maybe for Crescent nailing down a, a big big chance yet yeah it's, it's been a little bit scrappy um, both sides are going to really need to get hold of the ball and, and just pass it a little bit quicker I think probably Crescent are just getting used to the pitch Andrews certainly no excuse but we're seeing a lot of stuff like that there where the ball is just getting broken up corner here for Andrews 
but it, it's about teams getting hold of the ball and you know making four, five, six passes, moving the ball quickly, giving themselves a platform to attack from. We're, we're getting a lot of kind of double turnovers where a team is making two, three passes, balls turned over, balls turned over. So I think as we go through the game, that could be a feature where you know a team just makes a mistake and that crucial mistake then is the one that possibly decides the game. First real chance of the game here for St Andrews from this penalty corner. We'll see how they line up. It's going to be Alex Orr that will take it. Gabby Lewis looking to set things up. Ivan, what are you reckoning from here? Yeah, I think I think with corners, I think certainly it's a feature in the IHL game. A lot of deflections in around the keeper. So I think with with all sides, that's what that's what they'll be looking for. Touches in around the keeper. I know one or two sides have flickers, um, and I think that you know even with the flick, I think it's that second ball, that rebound ball that that most sides will be looking for. So we're talking about deflections and then rebounds in second phase of corners. That one on the occasion for St Andrews didn't work out, but they still have possession up in the Crescent Territory. Play through Gabby Lewis. It's going to be another free for St Andrews. Lewis will take it herself, wearing the number five. In fact, she leaves it alone. Leaves it to the Amy Elliott. And it's Crescent now with Mia Cleary flicking possession away out of the danger zone for the moment at least. And now they have it with Robin Lee. Lee looking to launch a counter. A good run down the right-hand side by Lee. Looked to have been tripped. Advantage didn't come her way. And this occasion is going to be possession for St. Andrews. And so now to Robin O'Leary here for St. Andrews. Just after coming onto the pitch. And the rolling substitutions. Number 17 now is Emily Arrowsmith. Arrowsmith draws the foul from a Crescent player. And it's going to be another attacking chance here for St. Andrews. O'Leary now plays it back. And it's Alex R for plays it across, looking for Lewis. Lewis blocked by a good bit of defence there from Georgia Keane, but I have no question Andrews settling to their task now. Yeah, they are. Um, like, you know, uh, win a corner, a couple of frees, a little bit of pressure. But again, we're talking about one ball which is going from the ball side to the opposite, which is, which is opening up opportunities. And again, two passes and a turnover. So I think that's, I think that's going to be a feature where we're going to get those turnovers and then it's whichever side can take advantage of that is going to, is going to get the, the goal opportunities. Shot there from Alex Orr, left smartly by Amy Arnold. It was outside the scoring zone and Crescent restart play. The ball on the right-hand side, played up by Sarah Barry, looking for Lee Cleary, but she's intercepted. It's going to be a St. Andrews ball. A bit of spell of possession here now for the home side. Leinster champions, of course, hosting this tournament, this two-day tournament. We'll see five games for over two, ten games over two days, five games each day over today, Thursday, and tomorrow, Friday. First of four games for each side. Both teams today will play two games each. And it's on the attack here. Good run on that occasion from Katie Jane Marshall. Of course, was star of that Leinster final victory over Wesley College for St. Andrews. And here's Amy Elliott, the extremely talented Amy Elliott. Plays it out to the left-hand side. Looking for Rachel Diggin. Diggin forced to play it back. Patient build-up on this occasion from... Andrews, that's Marshall now, all the way over to his right hand side, long ball played up, looking for Alex R, Br brilliant control for Moore, tries to find Robin O'Leary right on this near side in front of us in the commentary box, good defending though from Crescent, and Claudia Griffin, and it's going to be possession for Andrews again, high ball, judged too high, in fact it's not. It's Andrew's possession again. It's Alex Orr. Decides to play it back. All the way back to Nicole O'Connell. Nicole O'Connell, Devin Atkins, and all the way back to Katie Jane Marshall. Marshall plays it out to that left hand side. Really spreading the play early on here, Andrews. I think both 
The ball transferred quickly, that space is there to attack, but if the ball isn't moved quick enough, that space will, will disappear and then we get into a, a kind of a scrappy phase. So I think both sides are trying to do the right thing, they just need to do it quicker. Nil nil here in this opening game of the Kate Russell 2019 hockey tournament. Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. It's Crescent in possession here. Claudia Griffin plays the ball upfield. Robin Leahy cuts back inside, looking for Lee Cleary. He was well intercepted by St. Andrews on that occasion. Good bit of defence there, but it's going to be Crescent to restart without Sorensen. Sorensen now on the run. Good interception, half interception. Sorensen does well to get to win another ball for Crescent. And it's going to be Crescent number 16 to restart play again. Plays the ball forward. It's Anna Horn in possession. Horn looking for the diagonal ball in for McNamara. It's a chance for Crescent, but it's brilliantly defended again by Andrews. And that's three or four occasions that kind of diagonal ball has opened up Andrews for Crescent, but yet to yield a goal scoring chance, really. Yeah, like it's a it's a dangerous ball. Like if you can, especially in on the left hand side, if you can cut inside and play that ball at a forty five, it's a it's a dangerous ball. And certainly the Andrews fullbacks are going to have to be switched on to that um, if that ball has been drilled into the circle. If it goes in at pace, um, it, one touch is enough to score a goal there. You know, you don't have to control it. You just need to get a stick on it. Um, so it, you know, it, it's it's certainly an avenue that Crescent should be looking at, but. Um, you know, at the moment it, we're looking at kind of you know one ball, something like that, which is going to yield a goal. Um. Yeah, still nil nil here between St Andrews and Crescent. A long corner here that Gabby Lewis is set to take for Andrews, forced to go backwards. And it's Leah Cleary with the interception for Crescent. A good bit of skill from Leah Cleary. A good drag as she comes down the right hand side under pressure from two Andrews defenders, and it's Andrews who come away with eventually. But Cleary is there again. Hits her foot, it's going to be an Andrews ball. Andrews free. And play comes all the way back here to Nicole O'Connell. In fact, it's Devin Atkins, or Atkins and Sir Katie Jane Marshall now trying to launch patient attacks from both, both teams so far in this opening game. But chances not at a premium as such. Chances out of premium. Robin Lee looking to make the way up field for Crescent. It's going to be a free for Crescent. It's Emer Lane getting set to take that. Plays the ball back to Georgia Keane. Keane now all the way over to this left hand side to Sorensen. Sorensen assessing her options under pressure from St Andrews defender. In that case, it was Emily Arrowsmith. It's played in quickly to Robin Lee. It's a good build up here for Crescent. They've won another free. It's Lee Cleary on that occasion that's won it. It's Anna Horn, she takes it quickly. Plays it reverse handed, it's a dangerous ball, up too high, but Crescent's starting to push for that opening chance. Yeah, they are, but it's been created by just simply taking two or three frees a little bit quicker, which then immediately gets them, it breaks a line and gets them into space. So I think in a game like this that's so cagey, you're going to need to take every small advantage that you possibly can. So. Anything that injects a bit of pace, taking a quick free, um, players at the back, you know, cutting down on the touches, you know, we go two touch as opposed to three or four, because you're looking for that little bit of space. And both sides have players that can cause a bit of damage if they get the ball in space. But at the moment, it's, it's, everything's very slow and very compact, and that's, what's, that's why we're getting kind of a, a game of attrition at the moment. Very much a game of attrition. As Crescent looking to win possession in Andrews territory again, they're not able to do that on this occasion. It's Nicola Connell that's won a free for Andrews, a high clearance. 
Katie Jane Marshall on that occasion. It's number 10, Rachel Walsh in possession now for St. Andrews. It's up here to Robin O'Leary. O'Leary unable to create anything on that occasion. Crescent come away with their vice captain, Claudia Griffin. Griffin looking for Leah Cleary. She's looking for a foul. Umpires decide no, and it's going to be a restart for Andrews. Here, very tentative opening half here. 25 minutes aside game. Neither side willing to give up their defensive sta status at this stage. As Andrews now come away and it's the talented Amy Elliott in possession. Good run from Elliott, good dribble. Looks for Gabby Lewis, it's a good interception though from Georgia Keane from Crescent. It's Crescent that have possession now from this free. It's Emer Lane, Lane looking as Ivan mentioned there. It's a true ball, it's a chance, it's just got away from Maeve McNamara there, a good ball through from Emer Lane and just another half chance for Crescent. Uh, it is, it is very difficult though to pick up a straight ball when you're actually running in a straight line, so off those frees, they need to change the angle so that you get an angled ball to a straight, to a straight lead or a, a straight lead with an angled ball. Very difficult to get onto, a, get onto a ball like that, that ball's always running away from you, but again, it's a quick free. It's something from nothing that they're going to have to be aware of. Good chance, Good chance here for Crescent. Comes to McNamara. It's there for Crescent. Goal, opening goal here of the Kate Russell Hockey 2019 tournament. It's come from Maeve McNamara. Good quick play between Leah Cleary and Anna Horn. The ball comes across and reverse handed finish from Maeve McNamara. Puts Crescent 1 0 up. Yeah, no, good goal again coming off a free hit, but. It's been coming. Uh, Andrews have been letting the Crescent runners go a little bit, um, and you know we they got in behind there, you know, just a minute ago. So it's been coming. They they just need to tighten up at the back. You'll be very very aware of quick freeze and stuff being taken, and, and just get very tight and make sure they're marking in front. That's the opening goal here for Crescent, scored by their number ten, Meg McNamara. Fine finish from Anna Horn's pass right into the top corner of Isil Cambay's goal and it's the, it's the Munster Champions Crescent College that lead Leinster Champions St Andrews College here in the first half I have to say in the balance of play Crescent have just about deserved that it's a great start for them it's going to be a free hit for St Andrews it's Amy Elliott who's going to have possession here Looks to her right, but in the end is forced backwards. Okay, tripped up on that occasion by Martha McCready of St Andrews. As Claudia Griffin to take for Crescent. Griffin now looks around, is forced to go back to her fullback, Georgia Keane. And Keane across to Sarah Barry. Barry flicks it up to her right. It's a bit of a dangerous pass on that occasion. Looking for. It was Emer Lane on that far, hand, far side. It's going to be a. St Andrews with possession once more. Again, rolling substitutions you may see on her left hand side. It's Crescent now able to dispel her, that Andrews attack with relative ease and it's El Sorensen. Ivan, what, what do Andrews need to do to get back into this? Uh, they need to move the ball quicker, <laughs> very simple. And they need to score a goal obviously, but uh, no, it, that like every ball that's been played it becomes a 50-50 ball anything like the Crescent are doing their stuff at the back like we had a great ball from Amy Elliott which got the ball into space on the right side here but the ball that was played in then the Crescent defender is there they're competing they're com really competing so we need to up the ball pace to get players in possession in space like we have here 2 on 1 on the left if she uses her a chance here for St Andrews shot comes in it's a good block though and it's a second block the initial block was done by Claudia Griffin and the Crescent captain and goalkeeper Amy Earn added to that because Lewis who restarts play for Andrews a shot comes in there it's defended well again by Crescent it's Aoife Hickey who comes away tries to Hack it clear, but unable to do so. Anna Horn with the interception. It's Maeve McNamara for Crescent. So in fact, that's Robin Lee wearing number six. Looks for the long ball down to the run of Claire O'Mara, but it's Andrews able to deal with it. And Rachel Diggin in possession. Diggin plays it off Emer Lane's foot. It's going to be a free hit to Andrews. 
But on that occasion, even that last Andrews attack, they, they worked it to him on, but Crescent managed just despairingly to get back and defend it. Yeah, yeah, but it, it's it's just about clinical execution there. We, like, we had a two-on-one on the outside. We, we executed the first one. There was a two, second two-on-one available then, um, and we just need to... Uh, when an opportunity like that comes up in this tournament, you're going to have to be clinical because I don't think those opportunities are going to come along too often. You know that was that was certainly Andrew's best chance to get back into the game. El Sorensen, possession for Crescent plays it into the middle to Robin Lee, and Lee he plays the ball out to Emerlane. Good play here from Crescent. Good build-up play. It's Eve Hickey. Good run from Hickey. She flicks it across. Anna Horn's going to come onto this. Horn now into the semicircle, but it's a good bit of defensive work there from St Andrews it's Katie Jane Marshall and Marshall runs the ball dribbles the ball brilliantly out of the fence and wins a free hit she keeps going herself she's going to be called back though by the umpires probably a bit harshly on that occasion could have maybe left her go uh, she has to make an effort to stop the ball if she doesn't stop the ball well then you know it's uh, she's right to call her back the space always seems to open up after the whistle goes here anyway doesn't it <laughs> it's well, sad's law really Ivan to be honest but <laughs> It's Crescent now winning the ball back. A chance for Anna Horn to find some. She finds the goal scorer, May McNair. It's a pass to Robin Lee. Brilliant, brilliant defending from Andrews, though. And Claire O'Mara winning the ball for Crescent. And she's won a free hit. It's going to be taken by Horn. Anna Horn now. Trying to set up a play. She's got El Sorensen free on her left. And it's come out to Sorensen. Hit Sorensen's foot, though. Poor bit of control. Scuppers that Crescent attack. And Andrews. And we'll come away with play. Coming up to the end of the first half here. In the opening game of the Kate Russell Hockey Tournament 2019. Brought to you live and exclusively on SportingLimerick.com. One of five games being shown live on our YouTube channel today. Coming up after this game is Southeast Champions Kilkenny College and current holders of the Kate Russell up against Ulster Champions Banbridge. We'll bring you that game later on at 11 o'clock, but for the moment it's all about Crescent. And St. Andrews as Crescent's Sophie Klein comes in. Andrews now forcing to be patient here. They have to be patient if they're looking to get back into this. Crescent with their defensive set fairly solid looking at the moment. And that's half time. Crescent lead due to Maeve McNamara's goal 1-0 to Crescent at halftime Ivan you've already mentioned what Andrews have to do but it's Crescent in pretty much in full control really of this game at the moment yeah they are Crescent uh, they've done well I, I think the only difference between the sides at the moment is that when Andrews are getting into the last third the Crescent defenders are they're tracking players they're competing for that ball coming in when the ball's gone into the last third of the Andrews, the, the defenders need to get tighter. They're, the Crescent attackers are picking up the ball with too much space. And you can see from the goal, like that ball is 10 yards off the baseline and you have two players able to pick up the ball, you know, in relative space, unchallenged. And I think that certainly Andrews in the second half, to make sure this game doesn't slip away from them, from a defensive point of view, they're going to have to get far more disciplined, really start competing for everything that's coming in, stepping in front of the attackers. Um, uh, and then when they have the ball, they're going to have to move it quicker to try to open up those pockets of space because at the moment, Crescent are quite comfortable. They're defending very well. They're, they're squeezing space. And unless Andrews force the, like, not force the ball, but move the ball quicker, to create that space, I think Crescent are, are, are comfortable enough here, to be honest. We'll be back shortly with the second half. Halftime, Crescent leads St. Andrews, one goal to nil.
Live coverage of the for opening game of the Kate Russell Hockey Tournament 2019. Live from St. Andrews College in Black Rock County, Dublin. It's the hosts are behind to Munster Champions, Limerick side, Crescent College Comprehensive, 1-0 at the break. Thanks to Maeve McNamara's goal and joined in the commentary box by Ivan Ovendin. Ivan, you mentioned at halftime what Andrews have to do, or in the first half after falling, what they have to do to get back into the game. But on the flip side from Crescent, they're 1-0 up. They've had the better of the game just about. They just keep the need to keep doing the same types of things. It's it's a game of psychology now. Like a, you know, you, from nil all, it, it's it's a it's a tied game. They're now in a position where they're winning the game. You win their first game, and in all Ireland's, it's fantastic pit, position to put your, yourself in. If Andrews can come out now and kind of inject some some real energy and start start winning those kind of 50-50 balls and, and start taking frees quicker, moving the ball quicker. If they can inject something, it'll be interesting to see how present then react to that. Um, so I think that's that's a key thing here. I think Andrews really have to step up now and just inject energy and just just compete harder for everything. We've been the St Andrews senior boys coach here in the Black Rock School. It's Crescent with possession. It's Claudia Griffin, their vice captain with the ball played across mistake for Robin Leahy as she was in the first half in that centre back position good play from Crescent good play from Leahy to scupper that Andrews attack it's Andrews in possession again there over that far side it's Devin Aikens he's gone over the sideline it's going to be Andrews with Amy Elliott in possession but she's straight away Leah Cleary looks to take possession off her. She's not able to do so and it's foul. And you can already see Amy Elliott trying to inject a bit more pace into this Andrews attack. Played forward by Alana Rothwell, but it's Crescent again. Able to deal with good play for Mifa Hickey. Very impressive player for Crescent in their Munster title winning campaign. It's Hickey's won a free hit here. Plays the ball down to the right hand side. It's a good run from Robin Leahy. Leahy, brilliant dribble, flicks it under. Katie Jane Marshall's legs and it's Crescent with the ball again it's Leahy Leahy coming down the right side plays it inside plays it all the way across but it's going to be possession for St Andrews and it's Alex Orr with it plays the ball long unable to maintain possession that occasion was Joey Lord and it's Crescent with it again Lord gets the block in though and it should be possession for Elliot Elliot now already a very prominent in the very early stages of this second half that's Devin Aikens for in fact, that's not. That's Martha McCready for St. Andrew. She loses possession, trying to find Rachel Diggin. That's Robin Leahy again for Crescent. It comes all the way out this uh, left-hand side to El Sorensen. Sorensen trying to find Sophie Klein in there. But it's Nicole O'Connell for Andrews. And they come away. And it's Elliot in midfield. And Ivan, you can already see a tactic from Andrews that trying to get Amy Elliott on the ball more. Yeah, they are, uh, and she's a very important player. But the feature for me here, what, what I was looking for coming out in the start of the second half, was that Andrews would step and be very, very aggressive. Uh, from the early 16, again, Crescent, ball is being played from the 16 into midfield. Midfielder picking it up with, you know, three yards of space allowed to turn. She needs to be under the hammer picking. We need to be putting pressure on the receive as opposed to allowing them picking up. And again, a little phase through midfield there where again, the Crescent players aren't under pressure. Andrews need to, they, they don't have a choice now. They're not, they can't sit back and, and soak up pressure. They need to chase this game. Um, and here's an opportunity here now with Martha McCready in the circle, again, comes to nothing, but they, they really need to put more pressure on Crescent. Uh, Crescent are just far too comfortable again, easy to transfer the ball, no pressure on the ball forward. And now, a chance here for Crescent again. There was a chance, Sophie Klein, lucky to win a ball up field for Crescent, but in the end it was good defending from Devin Aikens. And she restarts play for, for Andrews, and it's good possession there from Alex Orr. Good bit of stick work 
Plays the ball across to Rachel Diggum. It's intercepted by Aoife Hickey for Crescent. Hickey has options in front of her. And a horn being the obvious one. Plays it to horn. He's got a touch with its horn with the last touch, according to the umpires. And in fact, it's not. It's going to be Andrews with the last touch. It's going to be a long corner. And Hickey takes it. Plays it to Anna Horn. Horn under pressure from two Andrews players. And it's Andrews that have won the free hit on this occasion. Be taken by Katie Jane Marshall. High delivery from Marshall. Good control from Gabby Lewis on that occasion. That's Crescent that are going to get the free hit. Blocked there. Said it's Crescent in possession with Serena McDermott. McDermott will leave this one to Eva Hickey. This free hit. And Hickey. Long crossfield ball. Oh, nearly. Went all the way across to El Sorensen. It was Alex Orlett. Went for possession for Andrews, but was unable to get it. It put off El Sorensen. Coming up to five minutes played at the second half. We're a Crescent lead to that first half goal from Maeve McNamara, putting Crescent 1 0 up against the Kate Russell 2019 hosts and Leinster champions, St Andrews College. And it's Crescent on the attack once more. They're going to have a free hit. And Sophie Klein looking to take it quickly. It's been a feature of Crescent's play throughout the game. Just doing everything that little bit quicker than St Andrews thus far. It's Klein takes it blocked but it's Anna Horn in possession just loses possession at the vital time and it's hit off the foot of Joey Lord on that occasion it's Anna Horn now for Crescent plays it looking to get another free hit closer to the semicircle and it's Horn now on, on the run Horn looking to get a shot away gets the shot away chance big chance for Crescent it's not just just it seems to have hit the foot on that occasion of Serena McDermott but nearly another goal for Crescent Diving yeah, again, it's from nothing, though. It's a, it's a free hit on top of your D. You have to defend the top of your D. Um, and she's been allowed into the top of the D to get a shot away, which Cambé makes your, the first save, and then it's obviously come off the foot. But chance here now, three on two. Lewis with the ball down. The chance, it is inside. Lewis had to fire that one to get through the Crescent defence. The possession, though was unable to be controlled by Emily Arisman and that's a chance a big chance gone a begging for Andrews that's a huge chance I, th I think certainly the two players I think again a little bit more patience um, it, it's a great ball from Lewis but it, it's it's in a 50-50 area I think certainly the the attacker on the left hand side just needs to make a pass line available and they can be a little bit more patient with that but uh, that's a huge chance three on two opportunity you just got to break it down into two two on ones and, and execute it yeah, big chance for Andrews to get back on level terms. Anna Horn has possession on that far side. Brilliant stick work from Horn. Really impressive performance from the Crescent number eight thus far in this game. As Crescent now will relieve that bit of pressure that we've just seen from Andrews with this free hit. Well won by Anna Horn on that occasion. As Claudia Griffin plays the ball all the way across to Georgia Keane. From then all the way out here to Sarah Barry on this right hand side. Crescent playing left to right in Navy in this second half. And of course, Andrews in their orange colours playing right to left. It's Katie Jane Marshall now in possession for Andrews. Plays it to Maeve and Martha McCready, but it's going to be Marshall again in possession. Tries to play it down as far as, as, far as Gabby Lewis. It's Lewis unable to control the ball on that occasion. It's going to be a crescent restart. And it's the St. Andrews. Local crowd trying to buy up their side. With a rendition of Shake It Up Baby. And it's more important now that Rachel Diggin plays a great ball by Diggin. It's come again to Arsmith. Chances there, but it's brilliantly blocked. And Emily Arsmith with the second chance in the space of a couple of minutes. Another big chance for Andrews. It is. Again, it comes off a, a soft turnover from Crescent. They, they, they've turned over the ball, and you go from an attacking shape and suddenly uh, it's a good early ball played by Diggin into the P spot and the, the defender is obviously uh, still in attacking mode they've, they've got to come in there but again it's like we're talking fine margins here it's where it's a quick free it's a quick turnover and then a quality ball played that, that are kind of developing the chances here so again possibility of uh, it's very well defended there by Crescent still there though corner yeah, it's going to be another corner here for St. Andrews, who trail Crescent, as we've already mentioned, one goal to nil. Their second penalty corner of the game. 
Ivan, mean, who's the person to watch out for? Who's the player to watch out for from this corner, do you think? I don't know. Like, again, you know, there, there are options off the top. Uh, there, are, there are hitters there. Every, every team will have a direct option. But I think the key thing, certainly with, with corners here this week, is, is that second ball. I think that first ball will go on target. I think you've got to look out for deflectors. I think every, every side's going to have people looking for touches, but it's the second ball. It's the one that comes off the keeper, that comes off the defender, and it's whether that can get cleared. It's come in. It's a good block from Crescent. As Ivan says, second ball. It's defended well by Crescent, though, it has to be said. It's going to be a long corner here for St. Andrews and Robin Lee. He re-enters the fray from Crescent. Segment number two, Katie Jane Marshall now on the run. Hannah Horn looking to defend, has fouled Katie Jane Marshall. And Marshall again with possession, she looks to head towards the Crescent D. Looking for options, decides to go herself, plays it inside, it's defended on that occasion. And it's going to be a Crescent free hit, good work from Claudia Griffin. And Griffin wins another free hit. Options on her left hand side, decides to go that way. Too much room from an Andrews point of view here. Played downfield, good play on that occasion from Crescent. And Robin Lee hits back to Griffin again, plays it long. To McNamara, the Crescent goal scorer. Maeve McNamara now, good dribble from McNamara, wins the free hit, plays the ball off an Andrews defender's left foot. And it's going to be another dangerous attacking position for Crescent. It's going to be Robin Leahy to take. Leahy decides to go backwards to her options. Looking for Georgia Keane. It's a misplaced pass. And Sarah Barry forced to run back. She's not able to keep it in play. And it's that kind of mistake from Crescent that gives Andrews a foothold in this game. Uh, it's, a, it's a huge territory shift. Uh, you have a, you've a free hit on the 25. Amy Elliott now running at the top of your D, which isn't ideal. So, oh, she just needs to take that in herself. That's an opportunity to space out in front, take that drive hard right and get into the top of the D and then let go of that shot. But going back to corners again, I think the first runner is going to be key here this week for a lot of teams. Um, I think a lot of teams will slap the ball in on, on corners looking for deflections. That ball is going flat, and it's about getting your first runner out to get a block on it, and then making sure that you have your second runner uh, in a place where if the ball does drop, well, then you're able to get something on it uh, and, and clear it. But again, it, it's, again, it's going to be a mistake, something small that is going to get Andrews in here, whether they can inject a little bit of pace and the Crescent defense switch off, off, a, off a free hit, or it's going to be a set piece because... Uh, at the moment, we're, we're not kind of moving the ball quick enough to create that space ourselves. Thoughts of Crescent here now, trying to play it out of defence, which is their style. But it's Andrews now with possession of Rachel Diggin with the ball, loses possession under pressure from Crescent's Robin Leahy and Aoife Hickey. And it's Hickey now winning the free hit for Crescent. Very assured performance from Crescent so far with 12 minutes of the second half played. It's Hickey looking to play it long, well controlled on that occasion by Katie Jane Marshall. Marshall now has been one of Andrews' most impressive players. She's had a lot of possession, trying to start a lot of attacks, but needs a bit more help from the players around her. It's a dangerous pass, brilliantly done on that occasion. Well won by Sarah Fitzgerald, the young Crescent player. Wearing number 20, but down on the program is number 18. It's another mistake in defence by Nicole O'Connell on this occasion from Andrews. Crescent again with possession in the Andrews half. Into the middle with Robin Leahy. Too much room, you'd imagine, from an Andrews point of view. She's fouled by Amy Elliott. And it's him been for that foul for Amy Elliott. It's a big loss for them. A couple of minutes for Andrews. Well, they certainly have to get through these two minutes now. And make sure they don't. Like this game, it could slip away. If they lose the second goal, I certainly don't see them. At, on, you know, currently, I don't see them scoring two goals to get back into it. So I think it's key to get through this two minutes, get, get Amy back in the game uh, and take it from there. But again, a lot of double turnovers, two, three passes. And it's this one ball now that creates a little bit of space for Robin O'Leary to, to have a run. Uh, but she needs support, she needs players to get up there, but Crescent, have, Crescent seem to have snuffed it out, slowed the attack. Indeed they have, it's good defending from the Crescent side on this occasion with Sarah Barry 
Doing a lot of that donkey work for the Crescent side. But again, it's Andrews back into that lovely flick through the legs of Claire O'Mara by Katie. Katie Jane Marshall, but it's going to be a Crescent free hit. Crescent in no rush to attack at this stage, Ivan. They're, they have their 1 0 lead. They're not sitting back in that lead. They can afford to be patient in their build up and attack. The game is absolutely perfect for Crescent at the moment. There's no, there's no uh, pace to it. You know, two, three passes break down. They can get bodies behind the ball. Two, three passes, free hits. They can afford to take them slowly. They can afford this sort of stuff. You know, just keep Andrews here, keep the game kind of at the pace. It's up to Andrews to inject the pace and to create a different game. This game suits Crescent at the moment, being a goal up. They, don't, they, just, they just need to keep what they're doing. Marshall trying to launch another attack and feels St Andrews definitely need Gabby Lewis in more possession from their point of view. Another stoppage in play. Seems to be an earring problem for both Katie Jane Marshall and Gabby Lewis on the Andrews side. All well, seems to be sorted now and we'll get back under play with a free hit for St Andrews. Emer Lane comes back on for Crescent. 15 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes played, 10 minutes remaining in the first of five games brought to you live from St Andrews College in the Kate Russell 2019 Hockey Tournament. Brought to you live and exclusively on SportingLimerick.com as Amy Elliott returns to the fray for St Andrews. No real damage done. Well, she was off the field, but Crescent on the attack. It's Anna Horn, faced by Devin Aikens. Aikens forced to put it over the sideline, and Horn goes on the run. Good dribble, good defending from Aikens, though, wins possession back. It's going to be taken away by Andrews. Played downfield, looking for Rachel Walsh, but it's Crescent in possession again, and everything's that just a little bit easy for Crescent at the moment. Yeah, I think like we have a we have a sideline ball deep in the corner there on the left back. Um, it's not a particularly quick setup. Crescent get to play a ball from the sideline deep in the left into a player who's in four yards of space, who then turns, plays a ball to another girl in four yards of space. That's a situation where I'd like to see Andrews really kick on and go, all right, okay, try to play through us now and, and really put him under the hammer because we, we need the ball. And at the moment, again, Crescent players picking up the ball, time to turn, time to get into pockets of space, making passes. We just need to be far more aggressive in what, in, in, well, Andrews need to be far more aggressive in what they're doing because at the moment, Crescent are comfortable and, and, and could, could nick a second here. Andrews now with possession. It's Martha McCready with the ball. Looking for options around. He's forced to go back into the middle with Amy Elliott. But Leah Cleary doing a good job on Elliott. Anytime she gets possession, she's dropping back from her forward position to sit on the midfielder. And two Cleary. Leah Cleary in the Sinbin. As Andrews trying to force a mistake from this Crescent defence, but Aoife Hickey has made none of them today. Maeve McNamara, good ball from McNamara to Anna Horn. She's going to try and find McNamara again. And it's going to be a free hit for Crescent. As we just mentioned, Ivan, Crescent going around at their own pace, doing everything right, holding on to possession. But as you said, Andrews need to press and need to press fairly quickly, otherwise this game is over. Yeah, they do. They, they have to do something drastically different to what they're doing at the moment. Um, like Crescent, very, very happy just to, to keep going here. To be fair, any time that ball's gone into Amy Elliott, they're getting two, three players around her, um, making it very difficult for her to, uh, to, get, to get forward. But again, two, three passes out of the fence, turnover. Crescent can slow this down again. This is where Andrews now need to be getting tight to players. Like There's too many players in space here. And, and they need to they need to inject some they need to inject some urgency here. It's Georgia Keane for Crescent with possession there all the way across the Sarah Barry. And back in side to Keane right in front of Ron Golds is a dangerous policy from Crescent, but it's one they're very accustomed to playing. Sarah Barry plays the ball upfield. There's always someone available. This occasion it's Emer Lane and Lane looks for Maeve McNamara. McNamara, good play from McNamara. 
And she's won the free hit for Crescent. On this occasion, suits them down to the ground. They lead 1-0 through McNamara's goal. As Aoife Hickey goes on the run, she's got McNamara as the only real player in front of her as an option. As McNamara does well to keep it in play. But it's Andrews winning possession back. And McNamara is there to win it again. It was Andrews from Jasmine Barrett. And Barrett has it once more. Robin Leahy gets his stick in, forces it over the sideline. But Crescent will be happy to be playing this game up in Andrews' territory at the moment. Ball's played back to Alana Rothwell. Rothwell now trying to spread the play out to the right as Leah Cleary comes back onto the field for Crescent. Just coming on to 19 and a half minutes gone here in this, the first game of the Kate Russell 2019 tournament. It's Crescent leading 1-0 against the host St. Andrews. Thanks to Maeve McNamara's first half goal. And Andrews need to do something fairly drastic in the next few minutes. There's only six minutes left. And they're forced to have possession in their own territory. Not able to break down this resolute Crescent and organized Crescent defense. But there's one player who may be able to do so. It's Amy Ellis. She's got away from a couple of would-be tackles. Plays the ball down. Across to Alex Orr. Orr plays it into the center. But there's a Crescent defender. Well intercepted on that occasion by Sarah Barry. It did hit one of her teammates' foot. And Andrews have the free hit. And they have another free hit after Robin Leahy is a judge to have fallen foul of a similar offense. Andrews now assessing their options. Ball played through. Georgia Keane has it. And Keane, fairly cool, deals with the situation, puts it out behind. It's a long corner, but Andrews will be happy even to have possession down in Crescent's territory, at least at this stage. Well, this is where they have to be. They, they need to be down here at this stage. Um, again, that attack there coming, it, it was two or three uh, quick passes played by Andrews. Uh, Katie J. Marshall with a couple of two-touch passes. And then it's a nice early ball into uh, Amy Elliott, who got turned brilliantly in midfield, uh, creating a 2-1-1 on, on, on the outside with Alex Orr. And that, that's, what they, th that's what they need to do. That was the first time where we, we've seen them like just pass the ball a little bit quicker. And by doing that, it gets Elliott in space, and, and they're not getting those three players around her to, uh, to stop her going forward. Uh, again, in that attack, I'd like to see the Andrews players just kind of being a little bit more aggressive and, and picking up that ball a little bit higher. Um, I thought Alex Orr could have, could have bombed on into that space a little bit more aggressively um, to, instead of picking it up deep, get it higher. And then that forces your forward higher, which forces Crescent to, uh, to defend double the space. It's going to be a free hit for St. Andrews just outside the Crescent D. It's like Amy Elliott's going to be the player to take it as Andrews trying. now have gone to have taken their keeper off for the last five or so minutes here presently have no keeper in so they're going with 12 outfield players to try and force Crescent or force a goal and take away Crescent's lead it's Katie Jane Marshall with possession flicks the ball inside Andrews there but it's Aoife Hickey for Crescent who's been one of their standout players manages to get a stick to it plays it out over the silence Andrews in possession again and it's going to be an Andrews free hit good run from Elliot once more all the way back here to Diggin Diggin now will play it back to Marshall Marshall trying to force mistakes flicked inside it's gone all the way wide it was a good attempted flick to cause a bit of consternation in the Crescent defence but ultimately the ball has gone wide and Crescent will restart play Ivan have gone with 12 players you look, were looking for something drastic this is it yeah um, key thing now is how they use that 12th player um, you know at the moment it looks like they've gone three at the back um, with one sitting in front so I'd expect maybe Gabby Lewis or uh, yeah, it'll probably be Gabby Lewis that they'll probably leave up high in the box but you know again if you bring on that if you have that extra outfield player you've got to be able to use that extra outfield player and to do that we've got to move the ball quicker get it through midfield quicker because if you have that extra player up front she's absolutely useless to you unless you can get her there but opportunity here but I'd like to see Andrew spread and use the space here to try to get this ball through because with, with Katie J. Marshall and Amy Elliott running through the middle, uh, it's quite compact in there. We, we've got to use the width. We've got to go to the touch line there to get, to get in around the back. And then with Lewis up top with that extra forward, you can then go to the baseline. It's Maeve McNamara on the attack here for Crescent. Tries to get it across, but it's good defending on that occasion from Nicole O'Connell. Just got back in time as McNamara tried to find... 
Nicole Griffin and Anna Horn who were inside the D with good defending from Andrews and they start again here with Marshall Marshall plays it upfield now time running out here for Andrews it's Rachel Walsh in possession it's hit her foot and it's going to be a crescent free hit and there'll be no rush to take this it's Emer Lane Lane plays it to McNamara and she's got Horn inside her chance here for Horn if she can beat the last defender she's unable to do so but Horn manages to keep on possession plays it off in Andrews foot with 24 minutes played here, a minute remaining here, and it's Crescent on the attack. They lead one, and it's Anna Horn with this shot. It's a foot or two wide. She did well to fashion that shooting chance, but ultimately, Ivan, just a yard or two wide. Yeah, look, I think if they can keep the ball down in this half, I think they'll be more than happy now. We're going into the last two minutes. Um, they just need to get bodies behind the ball here now. But again, it's Crescent. Any ball that's going into that Andrews front line, they're competing for it. And even if they're not winning the ball, they're creating slow ball, um, which means then that they're allowing their forwards to get back, they're allowing their midfielders to get back, and they're, they're getting a nice, compact, uh, deep block. Um, so, you know, at the moment, it, you, could, you could get a breakaway crescent goal here, and that could be the end of it, to be honest. And that's exactly what they're looking for. Anna Horn's pass is well intercepted, though, by Jasmine Barrett for Andrews, who are... Fairly close to losing the opening game here. It's Anna Horn with the foul on that occasion. It's Katie Jane Marshall trying to fashion a late, late chance here. It's Gabby Lewis, the right player in position here. Faced by Sarah Barry, just lost control of the ball and that could be it for Andrews' challenge here. As we head into added time, Crescent leading 1-0. And it's Sarah Barry with possession here on this side plays it for Aoife Hickey it's hit off an Andrew stick it's going to be a Crescent sideline ball and it's Hickey Crescent number 7 who's on the run plays it all the way across smart pass out to Sarah Fitzgerald Fitzgerald has made McNamara ahead it's straight into McNamara there's a goal on here for Crescent if they can get it quicker it's Anna Horn she gets it into Cleary Cleary with the chance he Cleary with chance but Crescent turn a great desperate defending in the end by the Andrews defender it's going to be an Andrews ball but that could have been curtains yeah, it could have been. It could have been. It's an important block. Um, but I think in the first game, I think we called it before, it's going to be an attritional tournament. You have four teams who've come through uh, their provincial cups, all winning on one-on-ones. Um, again, this game, it's been a one-goal game. I think we're going to get a few of those. And it's, it's the team that can take advantage of those little things, taking those quick frees a little bit quicker. You know, getting that ball to the opposite side. Uh, oh, short corner. Uh, that can get the ball into space. And, and like every team, I think, here has, you know, three or four really key performers. And if they can get those players in space early by moving the ball quickly, well, then they can do damage. Uh, I think with uh, Crescent... I think they'll be very happy to have to have gotten a, a win out of this game. Um, they have a chance here now to go two, and I think if they can go two nil up, if they can get that second goal, I think it becomes a huge game because that's a plus two advantage on goal difference. This this tournament could very well be decided on goal difference, um, and a two a two goal advantage will be will be huge, and and this is a big moment in this game for sure. It's going to be Georgia Keen to take for Crescent. Time is up after this. Set for Leah Cleary. Shot from Anna Horn's blocked by the defence. Anna Horn still going, but it's a great stop. And it's full time here that Crescent have earned the first win of the Kate Russell 2019 hockey tournament against the host and Leinster champion St Andrews. It's a huge victory for Crescent in their opening game, beating the host. Ivan, it's... We've already, we've already just talked about Crescent and how big a game they were unable to get the second goal from that short corner in, but it's a huge victory for them going forward. Uh, Any time you play these tournaments, your first game is massive. You, you just want to get off to a, a, you just want to get something on the board just to get yourself into a tournament. To take three points for them, that, that, that's a massive, massive result. Um, I think that take off the line by Alana Rothwell in this game, I wonder how important that will be. Uh, later on in the tournament because as I said I think a lot of these games are going to be decided by one goal and that take off the line could very well be the difference between winning and losing this tournament uh, for, for Crescent or even for Andrews because they have 
you know, there's still three games, there's a long way to go, they shouldn't be too despondent, um, but, you know, I think they'll go away, take a look at that video and, and pick a few things that they, they really need to bring to the next game, but we, we said it before, there's five teams here, there's very, very little between any of them, um, so for Crescent to get off to a, to a win, that, that's a huge, huge result for them. Uh, very disappointing for Andrews, but uh, they now they now have a massive game coming up later on today. But but Crescent, no matter what happens today, they're they're well in this tournament going into tomorrow. Indeed, they are. That's all from the first game here on Sporting Limerick of the 2019 Kate Russell Hockey Tournament. We'll be back at 11 o'clock for the second game between Kilkenny College and Banbridge.